What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Miss Erin Yvette. And today, I'm going to be doing a really different type of video on my channel. I'm going to be trying out this Magic Shaving Powder. I saw so many videos on Instagram, on TikTok. And if you have not heard about this product, basically, this is an OG right here, okay? So this is something back in the day. I'm talking Martin Luther King days, for real. I've seen those comments about this product. So basically, this product was really designed to help people of color, specifically black men, fight ingrown hairs and I know as black women that is like hallelujah glory to our ears okay because I struggle a lot with ingrown hairs now I want to go ahead and give a disclaimer your girl ain't shaved in a couple days slash weeks all right it's <laughs> like for real I'm so embarrassed standing here like uh, I could not wait to do this video on one hand I'm nervous to try this product because I do have sensitive skin so I'm y'all's guinea pig today I have no idea how this is going to work on my skin I was told to do a patch test. We're not doing a patch test. We diving all the way in. I'm super excited because I've heard from this product that by using it, you actually have to shave less. So as of right now, today, your girl shaves pretty much every day. Like legit. My hair grows back literally the same day. And it's so... I'm not even playing with y'all. It pisses me off. That's really why I said, fuck it. What's the point? I've gone through Nair. I've gone through self-waxing. Um... I've done the laser hair removal, but I don't know. I just can't really get with any of those. So I'm hoping that today this will be something that we can include in our hygiene routine moving forward. If you like this video and you like seeing weird quirky stuff on YouTube, definitely subscribe, hit that like button, and let's jump right in. I'll be leaving down below links to where you guys can find this magic shading powder because if you're like me, then you're a little curious about it, but you don't really want to just buy any and every kind because I could have easily just went to the store and found this, but... I was nervous. I was like, what if it's not the right one? What if it's not the one that she used? So I will link this below, the exact one that I purchased off of Amazon, just, you know, sharing the link that I found. And then I'm also going to be tagging some that I haven't used before. I will say, if you have sensitive skin, there's actually um, a version of the Magic Shaving Powder that's for those with sensitive skin. It has like aloe, and I want to say vitamin E and things like that that actually help your sensitive skin not get a little bit irritated just gonna go into it now the only thing that I heard as far as negatives about this literally is the smell so do be mindful of that but I feel like if you've used Nair and you still relax your hair and all that child the smell is the last thing that should be your words <sighs> my, show y'all my armpits I don't want to hear nothing all right my mama would scream my daddy would scream right now if he saw what I was doing posting this on the internet this is worse than posting my nudes texting me hey all right uh, okay i've never let my arms get this bad so today is the day we actually had to come in here and do this regardless a razor something was seeing this a wee wackle something was coming for it oh uh, this is the hair that i have under my arms y'all this is the most hair i've ever let grow under my arms so we've got to get through with this i will say though like i said i'm very sensitive so we'll see how this goes I'm going to be doing my armpits on camera with you guys. I'm also going to be applying this to the top of my bikini area. So actually not the whole woody woot. But I'm going to see what it does towards the top, which is nowhere <laughs> like my armpit. Um, so it's a little bit of stubble. And then my legs. I'm going to include some clips of my legs so y'all can see my legs. I could probably braid my leg hair. No lie. All right. So enough of this. <laughs> I feel like I'm petting my arm. <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's dive into it. All right, so you're going to need this. I feel like this is old school. I don't really know how to open this, y'all, but I just got a knife right here, so I'm going to pop. Oh, I don't want to get this in my eye. Jesus Christ. How do you do this? Okay. All right, I'm doing it right. Because I'm like, what the? Uh -oh. It's easier to do it like, it's easier to do it like this and literally just um, pry it up and then you can just like pull it.
I don't think I want to sniff that. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to smell it eventually. So right now I just have a little Ziploc bag and I also have a knife or a plastic knife. Um, I don't know why I'm using like the developer slash BW2 method. I don't think you have to use plastic, but I feel like when you're using any type of chemical, you just want to use plastic utensils. I feel like right now I'm taking bits and pieces from all of the videos I watched. In the latest video that I watched y'all, Sis had a tablespoon. Now I don't know if this is a tea or a table. You just need to do a spoon, right, as your unit of measure or anything that's a unit of measure. And so for this actual batch, I'm gonna go in with three scoops of the shaving powder per four tablespoons or teaspoons or spoonfuls of water. So I'm actually going to do that. I have my mini camera down here so I could switch screens for you guys. Scoops of the shaving powder. And she actually did it kind of full, so we'll do full scoops. Two scoop. So this is kind of what it looks like with the water in there. I'm gonna go ahead and wish it up. I added a, like maybe a half of a teaspoon more water and now I just want to mush that in. All right, and it looks something like that. So now I'm just cutting a piece of the end of the bag. And what this does is basically just give me like a funnel to squirt. So I'm setting it for six minutes. Go ahead and wet my underarm first. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mixture. Okay, so I'm reloaded, it says. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm only gonna do a little bit. And no, I don't think that's enough. That's not enough. Okay. Okay, we'll do some more. I don't know how much you're supposed to put. All I saw in the videos is that they like basically covered this area. So I'm gonna apply this kind of like there. As long as it gets all over where the hair is, I'm good the smell like at this very moment it's not as strong as Nair like at all who is this texting me I think I see now why you add very minimal water though because it is a little bit more liquidy than I would like but it's still sticking so you, I'm assuming I would want it to be just like a Nair I would want it to stick and not slide down my arm all right, so now we're gonna go down south. Should I add a little bit more? Okay, so I'm actually about to apply this to the rest of my body. I'm gonna apply this to the top of my bikini area, like I said, and I am gonna apply this to my legs. I'll include some clips here, and then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks when I get out of the shower. I'm actually probably gonna take my armpits off, like here, but I'm gonna take the rest off in the shower and I'll show you. Okay. So, my armpits seem to be dry. Uh, I took some photos and I've just been waiting. So basically, this one I added a little bit more to. You guys can see. I'm gonna show you guys, get it in the shot. That's what it looks like. I'm about to go ahead and rinse it off. There's no irritation, guys. The smell is really not that bad. I feel like Nair is worse than this. Here's the other arm. Now this one looks kind of funky, right? It's dry completely. But my hair looks like I've been electrocuted. Can you guys see? I feel like my hair looks like I've been electrocuted. So I'm about to go ahead and take it down. Period. Okay. So that's the timer for the rest of my body. So let me hurry up. I'm about to hop in the shower. Yo! Okay, let me do the other arm.
Y'all, I'm literally in awe right now. My skin is so freaking soft. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna go take a shower and then I'm gonna take the rest off. I'll come back and show you guys my lips. So we are back. I'm out of the shower. It's super hot in my bathroom. So we're gonna hurry up, okay? Um, I put on some clothes, but look guys again at my underarms. This is them all dry. I wanna say first and foremost, this product doesn't give that stubble feel like it doesn't. So I left some space on my thighs that I didn't add and I shaved those. And you can definitely see a visual difference and you can feel a difference between shaving and using this product. I'm real, this is a 10 out of 10. The smell is a lingering smell for me. It's not a bombarding smell. So right now I got every candle in my house on and I probably will air it out, you know, with the windows open just a little bit, just because the smell is lingering, but it's still not as strong and near as annoying as near is so you'll definitely be okay with it i just feel like i want to walk around like this all day i don't know if this is going to help lighten my armpits but i do know that by using this instead of shaving it's going to help prevent them from getting any darker so that's a plus because that's something that i've really been trying to work towards like i said there isn't any stubble so it's literally smooth as fuck this is the best outcome i've ever got from waxing shaving the laser hair removal all of that this is literally bomb I'm about to go buy some more on Amazon right now. I wish it came in a bigger container than this. The only thing is I wish it came in a bigger container than this. Um, I will say one thing. I'm going to include some clips of my legs. So, y'all, my legs are really, really, really hairy. Um, and right now, there are, like, patches all over my legs of certain little pieces of hair. But for the most part, I feel like my legs are very smooth. They mimic my underarms, to be honest. And again, I'll include some clips, but the hair that is left, I'm literally picking it off. Like, you know how your hair is kind of fried feeling after you narrate and you can literally just pick it off? That's the same thing that I have going on with the hair on my legs. So I was thinking about going in again, but I really don't have to because I, if I took my time, I could just pick the hair off. So I think that's kind of cool. I did go in with my loofah to try to exfoliate and I would highly recommend that. In one of the videos that I watched, um, she had exfoliating gloves and I feel like that would really help kind of just get the hair um, to separate from the skin once the shaving powder has done what it needs to do. So for my legs, I pretty much got an 8 out of 10. They aren't perfect just because I feel like some areas could use a little bit more. If you started like I started in the beginning of this video with a lot of hair, you might want to go in with a little bit more scoops of the powder and you might want to let it sit a little bit longer. So for me, I started with 6 minutes. So I will say my underarms were left about 6 minutes and everywhere else on my body was left for about seven to eight minutes i left it on my bikini area for only like four or five minutes so that was the last place that i put the powder y'all and i ain't gonna include no photos of my hoo-ha on the internet but she looks amazing she feels amazing like she literally she's giving period okay i don't think i'll ever shave my cootie cat again i don't think that like period can you imagine a product you know, it makes you super smooth. It helps get rid of the ingrown hairs and it's not gonna make it darker. Sis, period. Kudos to y'all on TikTok. Y'all came through with this for real, for real, because this is now my hygiene routine. Like what razors, where I'm probably barely gonna use razors again. This is clutch. I am gonna be doing an update with you guys. So make sure that you subscribe and add me on here. Like this video if you want an update. I'll come back on a future vlog and let you guys know how long in between shaving it takes for me to use this product. So again, I used to shave pretty much daily, every other day. Let's see how long until I have to go back in with this product, all right? And one of the videos I watched suggested that you make sure you finish with cold water so that it closes your pores. And I think that helps fight ingrowns as well and just any hiving or razor bumps or any bumping that you might find. So I did be sure to do that in the shower to make sure I went over with a cold compress and cold water to close my pores. And then I'm gonna go ahead with my aloe vera smoothing or soothing gel. And I love this because it really just calms my skin and you can get aloe vera from anywhere. You can get an aloe vera plant from the grocery store. So I'll link this down below if you guys are interested. But I'm literally just going to go over with aloe vera underneath my arm. Basically everywhere that I went in with the shaving cream. Because I don't want it to keep working. Even though I did rinse it off. I don't want it to keep activating on my skin and cause irritation. 
So we're going to apply that where I applied the product and also a little bit outside of it as well because I have sensitive skin. And then I'll go on top with my non-toxic deodorant. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Peace.